I'm giving you my quarterback sleepers. I've given those already. Your running back sleepers were last week. Today, it's time for the wide receivers. Here are my top three values at the receiver spot. I know you have drafts because you're all DMing me to do your draft orders for you. So that's coming up this weekend. First up, Jahan Dotson, okay? 35th right now on Fantasy Pros behind guys like Michael Pittman and Marquise Brown. So I think we could easily see him crack the top 20 this season. He's got the rapport with Sam Howell. That's been very clear this preseason. I talked to them both. And he snagged this. Oh, touchdown. Oh, are you kidding? I loved this. I love this every second of it. Um, he went off against Baltimore. He got five straight targets at one point. They're like zeroing in for each other. It's just magic. So I know it's the preseason. Um, but I've talked a lot about Jahan Dotson. I talked about him all through. This is the guy. This is the value pick here. Um, he was looking at Dotson's way more than McLaurin's. Where McLaurin's going versus where Jahan's going, I'm just telling you. And let's not forget seven touchdowns Dotson put up last year. He missed five games with an injury. So the ceiling is super high. And you're not getting a better value out of a wide receiver three than Dotson. Next up, Christian Kirk. Oh, he got paid too much. Oh, oh, he didn't deserve that money. I think the market has kind of overcompensated to the Calvin Ridley edition. I'm just going to say that. He's going 31st at the receiver spot right now, despite a top 15 finish last year. Listen, I know he's probably not going to see 133 targets again this year with Ridley back in the mix. And I like Ridley a lot, but he will likely still get, I don't know, 95, 100 plus. Let's not act like he was a one-year wonder. 2021 with Arizona, with Kyler in and out of the lineup, by the way, he still posted a top 25 finish on 103 targets. And listen, the volume of targets might not be the same. Look at this. I just love those Jags this year. We have to do Jags prediction for the season. Um, he might not have the same volume, but I'm convinced and not just because Hamilton loves the Jags, sort of like the, the quality of the target will be improved, right? Ridley is going to draw some attention. It might ease things up a little bit, ease up traffic. I'm absolutely buying um, the dip here and grabbing this wide receiver two at a wide receiver three price. Finally, let's talk about the Cowboys. Ratings go up. We talk about the Cowboys. This guy, you know who likes that guy? Gronk. Gronk really liked wearing the cooks, and he said he's going to make a huge difference. And it's part of why he picked them to be the Super Bowl champions this year. So I started thinking about Brandon Cooks, and I looked at where he was going on Fantasy Pros. 40th at receiver. He's coming off a down year, but that was a dreadful Texans offense, as we know. And he shut it down after the trade deadline, too. Don't forget. Uh, I think Dallas presents a perfect situation for him. He will be the unquestioned second option behind CeeDee Lamb, the vertical threat this team has been missing. And we know what the upside is here. He's finished inside top 20 at receiver five times with four different teams. That's high floor, high ceiling, people. That's very rare. He should bounce back in a big way. Uh, Mike McCarthy, let's do this. Be pass happy, please. And again, you're getting him as a wide receiver four, so the risk is basically zero for this. I feel I probably feel the best about these wide receivers and any of the stuff we've put out there so far this season. So, you know, I really do. Do you? Yeah. I feel good about this. And we like value. We like low risk, and that's what you're getting. Good luck at your drafts. 